going on guys, I'm Andrew Bass here bringing another review of the Marvel Netflix series Daredevil. This show consists of Matt Murdock Daredevil, Foggy Nelson, Karen Page, Wilson Fisk slash Kingpin, Wesley, which is Kingpin's right hand man, Ben Yurick, which is uh, the reporter for this like third party news organization, Claire Temple, which is Daredevil's love interest slash nurse, and you have Leland Owlsley, who is the owl in the comics. The plot starts off with Matt Murdock and Foggy Nelson, they're two young lawyers starting a new agency and uh, this woman named Karen Page is framed for murder and uh, she's a mess she's crying and she um, needs a lawyer to obviously get her out of the situation so she um, the two of them go to her and uh, they help her and through that they become friends and she ends up working for them at their law agency and um, while that's going on Matt Murdock is um, becoming Daredevil now he's already been Daredevil but he's actually like going out in the streets helping people and uh, fighting crime but there's a Russian organization going around you know killing people uh, kind of robbing banks doing stuff like that and um, he's just going around me being like man what's going on with all these guys they're like doing all these heinous things and um, he ends up like beating this guy almost to death he's like okay who are you working for and the guy's like man the guy's gonna kill me if I don't t if I tell you he's like who are you working for and then turns out it's the kingpin Wilson Fisk now, Wilson Fisk is a, a Spider-Man villain, but he's also a Daredevil villain, and he's the kingpin of crime, ironically. And, um, you know, he just goes around terrorizing people with fear and uh, threatening to kill their family and the person that he's um, um, hiring to do the crime. So um, Daredevil's like, okay, this can't go on forever. I'm going to have to stop it myself. So he tries to go after the kingpin, and uh, that doesn't go too well for him. He's like man this guy's really powerful not just with his physical strength but just like his smart like he's a very smart man and um he just goes out to the daredevil he frames him for blowing a building and um you know just trying to ruin his ruin his life and um you know daredevil is just this guy in a mask he's not going by the name daredevil yet but he's just a guy in a black mask the city's looking at him weird and um, he just feels um, like, man, I have to stop this guy, but the city's trying to stop me at the same time. So how am I going to get this guy framed without getting myself in trouble? Now, Fist does not want his name out there. He has so many people around the city working for him. He has your local cop, your local chef, uh, people in the military, senators, drug lords, crime lords, everyone. So just to keep his name out of the press and to keep him out of prison. So um, obviously Matt Murdock, a.k.a. Daredevil, knows that this is going on. So he goes to Foggy and um, Karen to tell him, like, hey, this guy is not a good guy. But they're like, hey, look, he's on the TV. He's he's saying all these good things about the bombing and how um, he feels bad for other people. And Daredevil's like, I know this guy. He's not a good person. And um, he tries to stop him himself. And um, uh, Kingpin knows about it. He's like, I don't want this guy following me. And so he gets people around him to fight Daredevil and just to keep him away from him. And um, that does not go well for Daredevil. He gets close, but he just still he's still not getting to him. And um, Ben Yurick, who is this reporter, um, teams up with Karen Page because um, she ends up believing Matt and that Daredevil is um, trying to fight against Kingpin. And um, Ben Yurick is trying to report that um, Kingpin did all these terrible things as a kid and um, that he's a terrible person. And um, his boss is like, dude, just stop. You know, he's a good person. I don't know what you're coming with this crap. Just get it away from me. Get back to work. And um, so basically Kingpin is just not, people aren't getting the fact that he's a bad person. And um, Daredevil knows that he keeps trying to stop him and stop him and stop him. But um, Kingpin is also losing men in the process. Like he loses his right-hand man in the process. He loses some of his workers. And King is like, man, I gotta stop this myself. I'm gonna take down Daredevil myself, and that's where I'm gonna stop because I don't want to spoil the rest for you guys. I absolutely love this show. This is one of the best shows I've ever seen in my life. Just the way it relates to the Marvel universe is just very nicely done. Like they reference the Avengers a lot, and um, that's a good thing and a bad thing. I don't want Daredevil to become an, an Avenger, but I do want him in the MCU as like, hey, that's Daredevil. Hey, I know him. He's from the Netflix show. That's all I want. Or even in Spider-Man, that's all I'm asking for. No Avengers in Daredevil, please. I'm begging you. And I also love the fighting and choreography of the show. Like, it made sense. Like, the fighting, it made sense. It wasn't too corny. And it wasn't too, um, he wasn't OP. 
And um, another thing, they made logical sense. If someone's coming from a building, they're jumping down and kicking you in the face, and but they are the landing is a little weird. The person's obviously going to get hurt. They don't do that in the show. They try to make it as logical as possible, and I like that a lot. Um, Matt Murdock, I loved him. You know, as a monotone guy like myself, he has depression, and um, he is a very smart guy. And if you don't know the um, origin of Matt Murdock, you know, he was saving a, a man crossing the street, and um, he got radioactive uh, poison or some kind of chemical in his eyes, and it gave him uh, radioactive senses, and um, it just made him super powerful. Like, um, he can't see, he's blind, but he can sense. And um, it's really hard to explain, but they don't really show that in the show, and I wish they do. They do in the comics, but they don't in the show. For whatever reason, I don't know if it's the budget or what, but they don't really show it. I really, really wish they did. And um, another thing I loved was the scenery. You know, it's in New York. I love New York. Just the yellows, the hues were just done very nicely. The way they used the buildings done very nicely. Claire, um, just a beautiful, attractive woman. I loved her in the in the show. Just an amazing woman and someone I love. He he's just dude. This guy was just amazing in the show. The man himself, the kingpin. This dude right here is one of my favorite villains of all time. I've always loved the kingpin, you know, in the Spider-Man um, 90s series. He was just amazing. Uh, Spider-Man 3, if, if you've ever played that game, Spider-Man 3, the game. I loved him in that game. Spider-Man Web of Shadows, amazing in that game. But in this show, he's just so ruthless. He does not care about you. He's like, it's all about me. I just want to be powerful. I want to keep my name out of the press. That's it. And if you say my name, I will kill you. That I just love how he just he just does not care about anyone except himself and his woman. Like other than that, he just does not care about you. I love this guy. And he in my opinion, he is the best Marvel villain we've gotten so far. Like uh, my top three Marvel villains are Red Skull, Kingpin, and Baron Zemo. All the rest of them have either died or they're just useless. So I love Kingpin in this show. Like I said, I love how this relates to the MCU. It's done very nicely. I don't want to see Daredevil as Avenger, like I said, but I do want to see him in the movies in some way, shape, or form. I want to see him in Spider-Man Homecoming, even if he's referenced. Like, if um, J. Jonah Jameson's like, oh, we got another red costume freak uh, saving our city again, that's all I'm asking for. I love that. I would love that. And also, the Kingpin, I would love to see him in the Spider-Man movie, you know, Kingpin, he's a kingpin of crime, not just with um, your average goon, but with like super villains like the Shocker, uh, Scorpion, Craven, Sandman. I'd love to see those guys working for him and trying to make him powerful again because at the ending, something happens and um, it kind of ruins, I'm not going to say it, but you know, I just really want to see Kingpin be the kingpin that he was in uh, this show even more powerful and um, another thing is I want to see Daredevil in Infinity War helping the Avengers I don't want to see him to become an Avenger I just want him to help the Avengers in Infinity War that's all I'm asking for so what did I give this show easy 10 out of 10 if I had to take this entire show together uh, put it into one movie and put it into the MCU rating scale it would probably be a 2 I love this show um, it's just an amazing show like it, it was just I can't stop saying it like an amazing show um, like I said it's very inappropriate if you're like someone like 12 don't watch the show but if you're like a little older like a teenager you know ask your parents you know there's a lot of swearing uh, violence a lot of suggestive themes you know be careful you know always make sure to ask your parents before you well I know half you guys don't want to ask your parents before we watch any of this stuff you probably watch but you know, be careful out there, you know, and um, just an amazing show, like, it just relates so well to who Daredevil is as a character, and I just love how they did this, um, so yeah, alright guys, take care, peace.